Hey everyone, welcome to another episode. I am so excited to continue to talk about this topic this week. It is all about the speed of success as a first year executive. And it's one of the most critical things because we know that the faster we get results, the better off we're going to be in our career, the more valuable we're going to be to the organization, the more secure we're going to feel internally, the more financial reward we're going to receive for all the work that we're putting in. The speed to getting consistent, high-level, impactful results is really important. It's a win-win-win. When we can get speed, we can win in a personal part of, part of our lives. We can win professionally. We get compensated for it. It's a win. And so we've got to get results quickly. And as we mentioned last week, it takes first-year executives on average 12 months, 12 months, a whole year, their whole first year as an executive to get consistent results as an executive. And so what I want to do and what we do here at Legend Leaders is we help you shrink that time frame. We cut it down. That's what I was trying to say. I was getting ready to say the word cut and then I, I, the word shrink came out of my mouth. If you're watching me on video, you probably saw my face freeze for a second as I'm searching for the word. So we shrink that down. We cut down that time frame. We take it from 12 to 2. And so this entire month, we're going to teach you how to shrink the time frame. So that if you want to do that yourself, you have the tools and knowledge and the resources to be able to do that. Now, quickly, what did we talk about last week? I gave you three reasons, the three overarching reasons why it takes executives 12 months to get results. Okay, there are three of them. Last week, we dove into the fact that there's an internal adjustment. There's an internal barrier holding us back. And what we talked through was the concept of the fact that the definition of results, right, how we define a result and how we get there changed on us, right? Being that mid-level leader, results was done by doing, checking boxes, and executing. As an executive, it's done through people, by getting results through conversations, negotiation, influence, creating a strategy and a vision, and then giving that to someone else to go do, right? So that shift happened, and what happens within us is we focus on missing that shift, not realizing that was going to happen, and then we have some internal barriers that slow us down because our focus is on, ah, oh, how could I have missed that? What's wrong with me? As opposed to embracing the fact that it, it just is what it is and let's move on, right? That's what we talked about last week. The second reason and the reason we're going to dive in today is all about the guesswork. Just like we talked about in the first reason, we didn't realize that the definition of results was going to change. Okay, and so therefore, because we didn't realize that, we didn't know to the degree that it did change, that, that it was going to change, we didn't prepare. We didn't prepare to exec correctly. That's what we call it here at Legend Leaders, exec correctly. So because we didn't prepare to exec, we're having to guess how to get results and figure it out and ultimately play the trial and error game with our careers and figure out how to get results. We don't know. We've not done it before. We don't know. We didn't ask anybody to teach us. And so we're trying to figure it out. It's sort of like we're, we're building the plane as we're flying it, right? And that doesn't really sound safe. And I'll tell you that it's not. And it's not safe with your career. And so we're going to talk through that today. And then just as a friendly reminder, the reason number three is the desire to feel safe and secure because we feel like our careers are at risk, right? Because we don't know what we're doing. So we want to feel safe while getting results at the executive level. And so then we do some things that aren't going to generate executive level results that are primarily really just existing there to keep us safe, but they're time wasters. Okay. And we're going to dive into that third reason next week. But today let's talk about the guesswork, the guesswork that we inject into our careers because we didn't prepare ourselves for the growth that we're going to go through, right? Think about it this way. Whenever you go off to college, uh, you prepare to go to college. You buy all the things for your dorm and you know you buy sheets and you get a little mini fridge and you buy things for your desk. You buy all the supplies because you know that you're going to live in a dorm. Well, what if you showed up to college, but you didn't know you had to live in a dorm? What are you going to do? You're going to go to class and then you're going to go try to grab some sheets and you're going to go to another class. You're going to try to grab you know something for your desk, supplies or whatever, right? And it's a slow building out of your dorm room that you're having to do because you didn't know that you needed to prepare your room in advance. And so it's this mad scramble of going to class and getting supplies and going to class and getting supplies. And there's no time to study. 
and actually prepare for the next class because you're having to prepare your room. That's ultimately what's happening as a new executive if you didn't prepare to exec. If you knew what you were getting into, if you had the opportunity and someone would have said, hey, look, there's a big shift on the horizon. Here are the things you need to do to get ready and build out that executive leadership muscle, you would have done it. But you didn't know. And so now what you're trying to do is you're trying to learn how to exec correctly while also getting results. Okay? And that's hard. Because not only do you have the internal doubt happening in your head and and the frustration that you have, but now you're having to learn and get results. Learn, get results. And it's this constant shift of, let me learn it. Did I do it right? Did I learn it? Did I do it right? There's no ability to just learn and then apply and, and immediately get that hockey stick of results that we're really looking for if we're having to, to do the guesswork. Now, here's the deal. I know you and you're a prepper. You prepared to outfit your dorm room. You knew it was coming, so you prepared for it. Now, you may not be a prepper in all parts of your life, but you may be. At least in certain areas of your life, you are a prepper, meaning you prepare to go on a trip and you pack the right clothes or you look at what the weather is going to be or you plan some activities. Maybe that's you. Maybe not. Maybe you at least prepare to take care of your vehicle and so you do maintenance on your vehicle, oil changes and things of that nature. There are certain areas in your life that you prepare because you know it pays to prepare. And because you are a prepper in certain areas, minimally, you are a prepper in your career, right? Again, the frustration is there that you didn't prepare. And so what you're trying to do is you're you're a little frustrated again. We call that out. But what happens in our brain is we say, ah, I missed this. I should have been prepared. I wasn't prepared. So I'm going to go fix this. I'm going to fix it. Because obviously, good executives, high level, high functioning executives know how to do these things. So I'm going to earn the knowledge. I should have already earned it. I should have prepared. I'm behind the eight ball a little bit. I should have done it. I'm aggravated with myself. I'm better than this, so let me go learn this on my own. Let me earn the knowledge because I should have, you know, earned the right to be in the seat. Maybe this sort of negates the fact that I've earned the right, so let me go earn it. And that's how we inject that guesswork, and that's how we play this trial and error game. Let me be abundantly clear. You've already earned the right to be in the seat. All the work that you've done prior to stepping into the executive role, earned you the right to be there. There's no earning that you have to do to be in the seat. Now, do you have to be able to keep the seat? Yes, that's a very different story. But you've already earned the right to be there. So if you're telling yourself that you need to earn the right to be an executive, eliminate that thought. Because here's what happens. Let's go down this pathway. I missed the fact that the definition of results changed. I'm frustrated with myself that I missed it. I didn't prepare myself for those shifts and changes. So I'm going to earn the right to be in this role, in this seat. And the way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to figure it all out on my own. And so then the results go like this, up and down and up and down, like a wave, right? It's it's a wave of results. I get results and then I don't because I'm having to learn. And then I get results, but then I have to go back because I have to learn some more. What you must do is what you've always done in your career. We steal shamelessly as executives. There is nothing wrong with that. That's why it's called shamelessly. There are proven ways to do things in your industry, in your organization, on your team. There are proven ways to be successful. There is no reason for you to earn the knowledge of how to exec correctly. The knowledge is out there. There are proven strategies. That's what we teach at Legend. So I can tell you, they are there. There is no earning that you have to do. You simply need to not be so hard on yourself. Recognize that there is the ability to prepare. And let's do that really quickly and appropriately. Eliminate the guesswork. Eliminate the trial and error. Go learn the key strategies that you need for executive leadership. Apply them and move on. Don't earn it. 
You've already earned it. Earning the right to be in the seat is what's going to cost you 12 months of your life and delay results and potentially put you at a higher risk in your current role. That's what earning it's going to do. And we've got to just accept that for what it is. Eliminate the guesswork. There is no need for you to do all of this on your own. Did you, did you miss it? Yeah. Did I miss it? Yes. Do the majority of new executives miss the fact that there's a significant growth period and there's a lot of learning that has to be done? Yes, it happens. It, it happens to almost every single executive that's out there. It, actually, it happens to every single executive. What's different is the degree, okay? The degree of the unknown, the degree or the lack of preparation. And you know what? If you prepared zero or if you prepared 99%, you're still feeling a significant amount of frustration, fear, doubt, blame, all of these things that are slowing you down. And we all, at some point, especially women, question our right to be in that role and feel like we need to earn it to some degree. You don't, it's going to slow you down. Eliminate the guesswork, okay? It's my challenge to you. Go get the workbook, do the questions, look within yourself, challenge yourself, give yourself permission to eliminate the guesswork, give yourself permission to not play the trial and error game with your career. And I'm going to see you next week. We're going to talk about the actions that we take to make us feel safe, but actually don't generate executive level results at all. As always, go and be legendary.